when the floods hit Nottinghamshire last summer, one of the areas affected was Southall. Well, volunteers there have now received training from the county council, so they can close roads and put out warning signs if the worst happens again. BBC Radio Nottingham's Marcus Alton was there as the flood wardens were put through their paces. OK, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, we'll make a, a start. Could I welcome you to this uh, training for the... It's with last year's floods in mind that this training session is being held here in Southall. A group of flood wardens have gathered at the leisure centre to get specific training on how to close roads in a flood emergency. One of the volunteers is James Parker from the Southall Flood Forum. He told me what they'd learned so far. It's been very useful. We now know how to do it correctly and how to close the roads and when to close the roads to trigger and how to make the dynamic assessment we have to to do this safely. Do you think this will have a real impact if there are floods next time? It'll have immense impacts on how we can become more resilient as a community. We can close the roads officially and safely and legally with the delegated power of the county council and we can... We can stop bow waves, basically, which is what we're trying to do. We're stopping bow waves and we're protecting properties. When you talk about bow waves, this is where the cars travel through the floodwater. Yeah, and creates a wave as it travels through the floodwater, yeah. Another of the volunteers is Jackie Hewson, who's also from the Flood Forum. She says it's clear that preparation is important. Obviously, we'd rather hope that we didn't have to put it into practice, but prepared is... is everything isn't it so we were very worried last time about bow waves and rip cars continuing to drive through the water so this feels very empowering that we now can actually locally do this legally what i'd like you to do during the course of the morning is get some uh, practice of putting out these signs get a feel for the weight of them uh, rob uh, fisher is in charge of emergency planning at the county council he explained the practical help his team can give the volunteers if manhole covers have come up, they may not realise that under the surface of the water there are very dangerous hazards. In a sudden flood like the one we saw in Southwell last summer, um, the torrential rain floods the road so quickly that county council highways is quite impossible to reach here in time to close the road when it needs to be. So what we have in Southwell are trained volunteers who can safely and legally uh, instigate a road closure on behalf of the county council. To help with the training, there's a set of road closure signs here, along with some large cones and some lamps as well. These volunteers told me why they decided to take part in the scheme. I think we can all do our bit. The ultimate plan is going to be many bits put together. And unless we all uh, do our little bit, then... Uh, you know, we're going to have the same problem again next time. They've just given us a full rundown on the, the safety aspects and the health and safety considerations and the, the trigger points that we have to have to before we can do it and emphasising that we're acting as agents for the county council. A lot of people not far down the road suffered quite a lot of bad flooding, so I'm in a position to be able to help, in the words of closing the road higher up, which is where I am, uh, for the benefit of people lower down, basically. Well, I hope we don't have to use it for a long time. That's the main thing. <laughs> but just in case. That's, that's exactly it, yeah. Yeah, we're ready next time, aren't we? OK, we, we've got four signs in the set. The first one is to slow the traffic. Uh, we've then got one that says flood. The third one is uh, road... Southall has about 50 trained flood wardens and about half of them have volunteered for the road closure scheme so they can be ready to respond quickly should the worst happen. Rob Fisher says they can make a real difference. We do have a good many uh, flood wardens around the county uh, and indeed in Woodborough and in Bleasby we've got flood wardens who've been trained already to do this sort of road closure scheme. Uh, Southwell is by far the largest, most elaborate scheme, um, we do rely entirely on volunteers. Uh, and I hope that uh, communities elsewhere in the county will see what's being done here uh, and want to replicate this. That's Rob Fisher, who's in charge of emergency planning at the County Council, ending that report by Marcus Alton on BBC Radio Nottingham.